This is a disaster. I also forgot to wash my hands before. Hi everyone! So today we're doing a bake with me and I actually have been standing here for 20 minutes already because I was planning on making some chocolate chip cookies and adding like some M&Ms and some other candies but I don't have flour. So today we're making flourless peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So this is Christmas themed if you can't tell by my cute little decorations and it's a collab with one of my youtube friends holly freeman you guys probably know her to be honest she makes amazing videos i literally like i love all of her videos her editing is amazing and if you guys want to check out her channel it will be down below and her instagram because her instagram is amazing as well so um that's it let's get baking um so i already preheated the oven now we're gonna get out our mixing bowl and i also have some questions to answer okay so the first thing that we need to do is put in the peanut butter the website that i'm getting the recipe from said to use like not natural peanut butter so this is skippy which is definitely like not a healthy peanut butter so we need one cup of this so i'm probably gonna use all the peanut butter that's in here we're just gonna take it out of the cup even though it's not a full cup we're just gonna use what we have okay <laughs> we're just gonna leave that there so we got some white sugar here and we need half a cup all right, so I'm going to get the half cup out. Okay, so the next question is, do you ever get unmotivated because of the gloomy weather in the wintertime? And I feel like it makes sense if someone, like, would get unmotivated because it's so dark out. But the weird thing is, I feel like I get more motivated in the wintertime because it will get so dark so early and i'm used to like starting my homework like when it's dark so then um when it does get dark and it's like 4 30 i'll want to start my homework which is like good because then i get my homework done earlier so now we need the brown sugar also when i'm baking i get like so like into it that i don't ever look at the camera Oh, this is a rock. Not using that. Good thing we have more. Like, what will happen if I just put this in the microwave? Let's find out. Here we go. What if we made it worse? Okay, so we're going to try it again. Oh my gosh, wait, it's kind of working. <gasps> At this point, I don't even care if this is a third of a cup or not. I'm not doing this again. So if this isn't a third of a cup, then that's just, I don't even care, you know? So let's see. All right, I think we're going to be okay. You know, let's just put it all in. Okay, time to use the baking soda. Half a teaspoon. I think nothing will go wrong in this step. I literally don't think anything could go wrong, so I think we're okay. So, how's your guys' Wednesday? Let me know. Um, I'm filming this on a Saturday, so I don't know how my Wednesday went. Moving on to my least favorite part cracking an egg i hate cracking eggs it scares me because i feel like i'm always gonna get shells in it so i literally haven't cracked an egg in so long is it cracked enough i think i may have done it guys like i really don't see a shell okay finally we can mix all of this together 
There's literally brown sugar like chunks in this that have not been broken. So I don't have high hopes for this, for these cookies, but it's okay. Now that it's mixed, we have to go find chocolate chips. And with my luck, I bet you I don't have any. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I don't have M&M's and I don't have chocolate chips. So I think I'm just gonna have to resort to sprinkles. And what's actually great about this is I have red sprinkles, which is Christmas. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it on like before I bake them because like I think that's what you do, right? Okay, now we have to get our baking sheets and put some parchment paper on them. Now we're going to put some scoops of the batter onto the pan. So we're just gonna go like this. <gasps> Okay, they actually look kind of cute, except for this one, but it's okay. We accept everyone. I also sprayed a whole pan and I didn't even use it, so that's annoying. We're gonna bake them for 11 minutes and I'll get back to you guys right when I take them out. Guys, they're actually like really, like I'm so excited. They are so cute. I actually think they might be good. Like after everything that went badly, I kind of have some hope. It's finally time for the taste test. Um, I'm gonna taste the smallest one just in case it's like really bad and I don't wanna eat the rest. Um, so let's just go for it. They're actually pretty good. Like, they're not that peanut buttery, which I'm surprised because I added so much peanut butter. They're really good. They're definitely not burnt. They're cooked perfectly, and they're, like, really good. Okay, so I'm going to say this was a success. So this is what they look like. They just have red and white sprinkles in the middle, and I honestly think they're really cute. My camera actually just died because I filmed for, like, an hour straight. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to, you can subscribe. Make sure you check out Holly's video. She's doing a bake with me as well. And follow my Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!